What is up guys, welcome back to another Arena of Our video and in this one we will be showcasing Ryoma in the jungle on the new patch because I think this is the best jungler in the game. Um, after this invade we will explain why as well but just take a look man. I mean this already shows a lot, you can invade so easily with this guy, he is so strong. Make no mistake of skilling S2 level 1, it not only does less damage than 2 S1s, it also uh, doesn't give you the crazy mobility. And you have that passive, you can already, you have that forest wonder action, you can, you already have enough CC to follow up on them. So level 1 you skill S1, but you max S2 first, because of course S2 gets reduced cooldown by your ultimate, which is just absolutely broken. Now let's get into why Ryuma is, in my opinion, the best jungler right now. Well, we have a lot of marksman junglers that were really broken before the patch. Got nerfed because of these crit changes, Elandor was just received a huge nerf. Fennec also got hit a little bit by the crit changes, so uh, these are not entirely out of the picture, they're still good, but um, Ryuma didn't get nerfed, so he just moves up in the hierarchy. Now, what about the AP junglers who were really broken? Pain, Kira, you know, they're still really strong. However, Uriel's brand clowns a little bit on them, okay? So they are also a little bit weaker now. Still very strong, but they struggle a little bit more. And Ryoma still has his insane damage output, still has his insane mobility. I'm telling you, man, I'm seeing a lot of Ryoma bands right now in solo rank. Now, it is also because he can go Slayer lane and Abyssal Dragon lane. If you have a Marksman jungler, he can even go mid lane if you have an AP jungler. So he's definitely um, able to flex, which makes him even stronger. Uh, but also still in just this jungle position, he is absolutely S tier right now. Crazy hero. So yeah, you can see this game. We won't even play too clean. I will have one really dumb Zenny face action. Zenny face emoji. I don't know if you guys know the emoji, but it's uh, you know, it's the really dumb one, okay? So um, we will have some dumb action in here, which is starting right now, but we will uh, redeem ourselves later on in the game because, hey, don't tell, I, will, I don't want to hear ever again that Ryoma is weak in the late game. Please don't tell me that, because he's insane. This is the Zenny face action. I want to steal that. I roll into four people with this. I thought, hey, you know what? I got it. I got the little froggy there, okay? I got the little froggy on a tree trunk. So we're still chilling, but... We of course suicided, it is what it is, but man, I'm telling you, okay? We will have insane team fights this game, man. One in particular, crazy. Um, also there, you saw how we jump over the core. You really have to find these angles on the S1, man. On some, you can really, like, when, if the wall is a little bit curved, you know, you can just roll through the curve and it resets your S1. You really need to figure it out uh, by yourself, though I can't really explain all of them. But on the core, it's like a little, you go through the little corner there and then you can sw uh, run back to your lane or to your jungle faster. So that is always nice to know. But yeah, this, this hero is all about knowing how to abuse these wall jumps now. And it is so much fun to play, definitely very recommendable. I'm mainly making this video as well because a lot of people come into my streams and they ask, what are the new patch broken things, right? And Ryuma. Definitely one of them. As I said, seeing a lot of bands. She already gets this. I don't want to overextend too much because I learned my lesson with that one death. So we just yoink her little monkey. We try to yoink the little iguana as well. Here, see, this is what I'm talking about with those wall jumps. We force his ultimate and it is beautiful. The tool gets the iguana. It is what it is. Sometimes you gotta give it to your homie, but it's all good, man. We instantly try to rotate to... Um, that mid lane to secure that push vision and go um, while we're waiting for the dragon to come back up. And you can see, man, it's just so broken how much damage you deal because you can S2 ultimate, and if the ultimate hits the enemies completely, look, see how you just have to abuse these wall jumps, man. It's so insane, guys. Like, you can't imagine how insane this hero is right now. And yeah, that was only the beginning of a very fun gameplay experience here, for me at least. Not for the enemies, let me tell you that. But yeah, our team did quite well this game, but not anything insane. We definitely had to carry pretty hard to, um, well, try to edge out the victory. I don't know, listen guys, you never know if I win or not. It is it is what it is. We Honestly, at this point, you should just bet. If there was a betting site, you know, like a sports yeah, betting site, uh, for sure for games, you should always just, it would be, the quota would be 
like a 1.5, 1.005 for um, the victory and the 12 for a loss. Okay, that is how it goes. I mean, the other way around, the other way around, excuse me. Because we keep taking these L's. It is what it is, man. We just keep taking these L's. I call myself the gaming genius. I should call myself the losing genius from now on. But, you know, it takes a special kind of person to be a genius while losing. So I'm still clowning, you know? Don't worry. Still clowning on the boys. Um, I'm, I go for a very AD focused build. A lot of Ryumas go for uh, the Soul Reaver into Spear of Longinus into Frost Cape. What I like to do is I like to save the Frost Cape for a little bit later. I like to go for that. Look at this. This is what I talk, what I was talking about. Look at this. We just AOE through them, man, with the S2, with everything. And he yoinks my quad kill. He yoinks my quad kill. But did you see that? Let's check it out again, man. That was so much fun to watch. Look at this. We just roll in super deep, and now I just reset my S2 and I hit all three of them. I position in a way where I can line it up through all three of them, and the Richter support yoinks my kill, but it's all good, man. We get a triple kill, beautifully played, and this is the start of the hard carry of this Ryoma game, okay? And um, yeah, as I'm saying, I like to save that Frost Cape for a little bit later. I like to go for the Fenrir as a third item and if you get it, when you complete that man, the damage is crazy, this hero is so broken right now. Uh, we steal the monkey again, just take a look at this as well now, like look how you can just steal everything over the wall, nope not here, but we're going to we'll do it soon, oh I cringe a little bit, see I'm telling you we didn't even play too well and we're still able to just do so much work. Um, something really you will see later on, okay, why Ryuma jungle is just crazy strong as well. Look at this man, he just gets clown. He just gets clown. See, I'm waiting for my S1 to get the juiced up one. I couldn't kill him anyway, because he had his enhanced restore. But I'm waiting for the S1 so I can get the double S1 over the wall, okay? You always gotta wait uh, for that. Don't just use it blindly. Never use your S1 with only one charge, okay? It's <laughs> Unless you literally are in the middle of the lane and you have a free kill, you just roll in but um yeah you can see how um i would say i've abused this s1 pretty well four one and three you know nothing too special so far i mean that that quad kill that stolen quad kill was pretty clean but again i'm not really doing anything too special my team isn't really playing too insanely well or anything they're playing at the same uh, level as the enemies but i'm still able to make a huge difference because I'm just farming so fast, I'm so ahead already, I'm just, you can just roll around in the jungle, it's crazy, man. it's honestly really, really OP right now. And yeah, definitely very recommendable, if you see he's not getting banned in your ranked games, play him. It's a very easy, very easy start right there. Ooh, he hooks it away, man, come on, you gotta do me like that. Um, there we go, we just keep pushing the wave, and she just goes too deep, man, ends up dying. I wait here for the guy to jump on me and then I start just pounding away on him and we get him. And now I'm trying to get this Hayate not able to. By the way, if you do it really well, but it's, look, see, you just roll in and kill him, roll out again, man. And we get him as well. And listen, if you want to do it, um, if, if you are really clean with the S1, you can jump over towers as well and over dead towers as well okay so over the tower debris over this one if you do it perfectly you can jump over it and reset your s1 with it which is really really cool but it is a little bit tricky i have to say see am i playing well this game i'm six and one just not really doing anything look at this look, look at this man that, that was just dirty look we have another s2 it's crazy it's absolutely crazy and again we dash over the wall and he can't do anything he gets, he gets the ult onto us, but he just ends up dropping in the end to the very... Like, you just have so much control with this Ryoma, man. It's absolutely insane. And she just tries to roll in, but we just do pop this. We roll away from the Grat because he's gonna hook us. We have the Azenka as well. I'm gonna make an Azenka video soon, don't worry, guys. Azenka is pretty crazy on this patch as well. There we go. We're just... Look at this, man. I mean, this is just... Why am I able to just keep spamming these S2s, boys? That's why you go for a Spear of Longinus, not for a rank break. You get that cooldown reduction. You have the cooldown reduction from the Soul Reaver. And with the Frost Cape, you have the fully juiced 40% 
exactly 40% for mana reduction. And what, what are you gonna do, man? You just spam your S2 every sing every two seconds. Way too much damage, stuns. Man, this, this is... I mean, listen. I know what team is doing, okay? We have that um, Ultraman skin coming out, where we will all spend 16,000 vouchers. Again, I'm just kidding. I will spend 16,000. You guys will spend... You will get it on your first try, like always. You will get it free to play or something. It's dumb. Guys, but keep in mind, I'm absorbing the bad luck from you guys. It is what it is. You, you have to just keep that in mind. I am helping you. Look, see? I'm trying. I'm trying to use it over the wall to reset the S1, but it's uh, tricky. It's really tricky. You have to do it dead center. See? Now, okay, we hit the minion as well. But I'm pretty sure that was the right angle there. We would have reset it anyway, even without the minion. But yeah. I mean, look, I can just roll in here, I can poke a little bit, I can roll out again, like, it's so dumb, isn't it? And we get the kill! How do we get the kill? Forest Wanderer. Guys, come on, man, there's nothing better. There's nothing better than Forest Wanderer right now. Look, they, they think they can get me, I just swoop out again. We swoop in, swoop out. Easy. <laughs> it is so insane, man. I, it's really fun to play as well. I will definitely abuse this hero a lot in the challenge of Valor, whenever he's not banned, because that's one of your best bets to carry that. The solo queue only mode. I'm having a lot of fun with that. Check out my yesterday's stream if you didn't yet. It's so much fun. I'm gonna stream it today again. And man, I really like this solo queue only mode. I'm, I have to say, I'm really liking what Arena of Valor is pulling out lately. This is... If they keep doing this, great future for this game. Honestly, this is not um, dying anytime soon. People are really... Uh, afraid it will die to Wild Rift, but I'm playing Wild Rift. It's okay, but it's definitely not up to par right now. I'm telling you, man. But that is besides the point. Um, we'll see. Of course, everything boils down to marketing in the end. Look at this, man. You can just roll in. Ah, guys. You see, we're not even doing too anything too special, man. I'm 10 and 1. Did I do anything special? That 1v4 was special, I would say. And that set up the snowball, but before that and after that, we were already ahead in gold. We were already farming really well by yoinking small minions because you just do so much damage uh, with S2 and ult. You can just literally S2, ult the buff, auto attack, S2 again, and over the wall you can just join buffs. Alright guys, it's honestly dumb. It's honestly pretty dumb. We also did most damage in this game, nothing too crazy. But I like to show you these uh, normal gameplays as well, where you can just see how you can do well with this hero without being, without performing too well, man. You know, I, I could show you, I, I don't know, man. I could show you Tulin and stuff where I just outplay everybody or Raz and then just call him over. The recording crashed right at the end, unlucky. But yeah, as I said, I could just show you Raz or something, just outplaying these kids and tell you how OP it is, but it really isn't. It really isn't. But Ryuma. That, my guys, is insanely OP right now on this patch. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like, subscribe. Let me know if uh, you learned something. Let me know if you tried out Ryoma and agree with me that he is absolutely OP. I would honestly recommend you guys to ban him if you don't have first pick in your ranked games. And with that being said, I will see you guys next time. Peace out, boys. Bye-bye.